Oh, hi. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. It's okay. Can I give this to you while we're out yeah, here? Yeah, I just wanted to know why, what y'all are doing. We're exposing the Holocaust of today and that Christians aren't standing up for the unborn. Uh, we are thousands and thousands of babies get killed a day. And if just the Christians stood up in the state of Texas, it would be illegal. Just but do you think this is the way to, to express that? Well, the pro-life movement has been doing it for 40 years and it hasn't abolished no, it. No, I mean, so, we're, all, we're all in favor of what you're, talk, what you're doing. I don't know why. It's sort of like you've targeted your preaching to the choir. Uh, so we used to just do it at pro-choice church, churches, but as we were praying more about it, God was saying, no, we need to call our Christians because the Christians are the good people. They know. They know what's going on. Well, and sure. if all the Christians stood up, but then why it would be, do it like this? Why do, I mean... Because it, God calls us to expose evil. Yeah. And so we're and exposing we it. That. We know that it's evil. But unfortunately, and when we stand in front... we're not for it. We're not and that's, for it. And we shouldn't be for it. But what do we do when we say we're not for it? What does that mean? Well, I just, I just don't see how. I mean, I don't know what other ways you've tried. But I think it's very offensive. Well, why is it offensive? Be, because we're... Because, no, because it's like you're saying we're... We're bad people that we don't believe that. We I was don't a bad believe. person once before. I'm not a bad. I mean, I I've been. I I'm not saying I'm not sinful. Yes, we all are. Yes. And I'm, but I'm against abortion 100. percent So I can. Everything I do. Is, I could call myself a Christian most of my life, but I figure I was a bad person when I just sat in a pew and didn't do anything about it. I would say yes, I'm against abortion, and I would sign my you know vote I mean, that I'm I against work it. With, I work with abortion centers. There's different places I contribute to that I, I so just, I hope you know that. that most CPCs are people that really want to keep their baby but they just don't know how to do it they're scared the people that are actually walking the abortion clinics those are the ones we need to focus on because they don't even want to keep their babies and That's so when we're, we're not talking about I'm okay. talking about where are we right for life I mean where we bring in uh, real options do you know real options yeah no those are all good things we're never so, saying that those are bad so, things but most of the Christians, and I'm not, we're not aiming this church specifically, it just happens to be we've been here for the past few weeks. We go to every church. So yeah, but the reason- what, what, Okay, so what have you found has come out positive from what you're What doing? comes out positive is- No, ex- what have you already discovered? Yes, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. So us standing out here is exposing it. People are like, wow, I'm not doing anything. They're convicted that they're not. They're sitting in a pew giving money to a CPC. Or maybe they are to go do the right to life. That's good. But most people aren't doing anything. They're giving money to their church or giving money to an organization to do the work for them. Because it's hidden. This stuff is hidden. And so if you don't see the reality of it, you're not prone to do anything. And so we're just calling Christians, please stand up. You see what's happening. If we all stood up, it would be illegal. I promise it would be. And the orphans, all the, I have six kids out of foster care that we adopted. If just Christians would stand up, there wouldn't be any kids in foster care ready to be adopted. Not the ones that are, want to be reunified with their parents, but the ones that are truly need families. There right, wouldn't be. Right, and so right. unfortunately, big churches such as this one, which is a good church, I, I get it's a good church. I, yeah. I've heard nothing but good about this church. Do you know church. what CASA is? Yes, I've been involved with CASA because of foster care. Mm-hmm. So yes, we're involved with it often. And that's a good organization. Yeah. My husband's on the executive board of CASA. They're all good. And he's about to be made the, the as much as he didn't really want to be made the president of it, but he is about That's to be. That's what God does sometimes. Yeah, I know. He's like, and then Puts I us in uncomfortable situations. Yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, are you really? Yeah, I guess I have to support you behind that, you know? And CASA's a great but, organization. But, but yeah, because it's, and he meets with the judges, and the judges are all for the children who are being abused and I mean, he's trying to help them. And yeah. so that's what CASA is a great organization. So. It is a great organization. And there are those out there. Um, and I'm not saying you particularly may be doing everything that God's called you to do, but a lot of Christians aren't like you, right? There's a lot that like to come and sit in the pew for an hour and then leave and do nothing. And a lot yeah. of times exposing it like this makes them think twice. Because if we hide it and just say abortion's wrong, it's life, it doesn't really impact as much as you well, see that are y'all baby torn apart. To the, ch- the teenagers. Yes, we stand out in front of high schools. So, what's your organization? Uh, we are under a, a a theology of abolish human abortion, and it's people that believe in the same ideology of standing out in front of high schools, standing out in front of churches, yeah. standing in front of abortion clinics, yeah. of saying this is wrong. It's not just churches. Uh-huh. It's high schools because high school students are the ones that are walking in doing it. Yeah. It's abortion clinics, hey, you can save those babies. You don't need to abort your babies. We're here to help you, right? right? And so all those things combined, we should be able to abolish abortion. 
-hmm. Unfortunately, there's a very few people who will actually stand out and expose the light, expose but this evil. what about the people who are at the, at the, the political but, level yeah, who so, are for, I mean, like in Austin, I mean, I, unfortunately, she's a relative. Mm -hmm. She's head of abortions for yeah, I know. So we went to, um, I think it was this summer or last summer, anyways, down to Austin and stood and talked to every state representative mm -hmm. to try to get them to sign the bill, and it didn't go through, mm -hmm. which tells us Texas is in a horrible position mm -hmm. right now. Like, we are the, almost the most Christian state there is. Yeah. So yeah. why can't we abolish this? So something has to change. Do you know Ken Paxton? I don't. Uh -uh. He's, he's I, our attorney general. Yeah, I mean, my husband attorney might. Attorney. I'm so, I have yeah. to admit, I'm no, very horrible with. <laughs> okay, so, so, I mean, go go talk to Ken Paxton. Ken Paxton, the, the attorney he's general. our attorney general. He is from McKinney. Yeah. He was our state rep, and now he is our attorney yes, general. Yes, those people that should be able to stand up and say. I mean, and he does a lot. And then, uh, do you know Kelly Shackelford? Yeah, I don't know all the names. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, but thank you. You might want to take notes because yeah, these I'll, are very influential, important okay. people. Okay. Let me. Um, um, no, this is good. This is good. Uh, because it is. It's going to start at that level, but if us people rise up and say no, right? Because even at HB 948 was one of the bills that tried to get passed to abolish abortion. There was mm -hmm. only a, like a thousand people out of state of Texas there. I know there's a lot more Christians there. So if the pastors would stand up and say we're all going to go, yeah, let's go. Well, and there are a group of pastors. So what was that, that name meet, of that first okay, one? Okay, so Ken, Ken Paxton he is, is the attorney. our Texas state, uh, he's our Texas attorney general. Okay, and then it was? And then Kelly Shackelford is with, um, Kelly Shackelford, he is an, an attorney okay. that fights Shackleford. for all Christian rights. Okay. So I he has an this. organization, Liberty, I think it's he, they just. I think if I look over, look it. up his name, I'll probably. Kelly Shackelford. Oh yeah, he's on yeah. Fox News. I mean, he's he, he's from here. He's they're all from he's, here. Oh, and, and, and Ken's from McKinney Ken's as well. Ken's from McKinney as well, but now he's in Austin. Yeah. And his wife and I mean, um, uh, um, Ken Angela Paxton. She's running now for state rep. Oh okay. He okay. just went. So, he's been attorney general for about two years now. And she's now running for his old position. So because she's very, very strong. Yeah, yeah. Liberty. And that's awesome. We need those people. Right. And if we can get yeah. a hold of them, yeah. that would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, those, I think, are, those are some important people that can actually help. You know, you, I mean, if y'all are an organization, it's good to have other come organizations together with come that organization. together. Exactly. I agree. And just wow. like all the pastors when we're in, in McKinney and from all the different churches, we are united. The pastors are united that are from different denominations. Okay. In the McKinney, Frisco, um, in this Collin County area, and like the, the, the Harvey, um, they are organizing, sending people. They've got trucks filling up stuff to take down to Houston. So and to those think are all that great all things. Christians are not doing anything. I is, didn't say is, all. I'm saying I most. Know, I know, but I think you could be more. Your actions and your time out here can be used, I think, better. Well, I really think so. And we've prayed about it many, and many times. And, <laughs> yeah. And I mean, and I don't know if y'all gone in and talked with the pastors. We've here. tried to get a hold of the pastors. And actually, there's a couple that goes here. They came to our church service last Sunday. We have a Sunday night church service. Uh -huh. Actually came to our house. Uh -huh. and talk to us and it's going to try to hook us up with the pastors here right. so we are right. in the process of can we talk to people yeah. here in leadership yeah. so because, it's happening I mean, they're doing things they they collect money for real options every i mean they are doing things but there's so many churches obviously in texas how long have you lived in texas five years texas has a lot of churches they have a lot and like you say we're very <laughs> very um christian and we're very I mean, this is a non-denominational church, so we are we're based on biblical truths. Mm -hmm. We're not affiliated with big denominations where we send our money out. We're we're going to be proactive, and they're going to do the best that they can with that, you know. And yeah, so, no, I, so mm -hmm. if you even Real Options, one of my best friends in my Bible study, she's on the board of Real Options. If you want to come talk to our our my Bible study group, you would be welcome. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely take a my, note of it. And, and so, I, so do you want to give me your name? Yeah. And um, let me. What I'll do is just text you if that's okay, and then I don't have anything to write on. Well, what do you, do you have, have here? Are you passing things? Yeah, out? but it doesn't have my name or number on okay, it. But I can write it on it. 
<laughs> um, but honestly, and it's that it is, I'm not disagreeing that the leaders at this church are probably doing stuff. People like you that are out there doing things, yeah, our concern, uh, our concern great. are those that are in pews that don't, that are apathetic to what's really going on. And when I say apathetic, well, there's, there's meaning people everywhere, ev I mean, everywhere, but Christians yeah. know. Especially with this church, you guys are pro-life, so you do talk about it. Yeah. So they know. They know it's wrong. So if just this church stood up, everybody, we'd be so much closer to ending this Holocaust. I can even just write it down in my notes, or you can write it in your notes. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to see. I know. Yeah, I don't carry any of my glasses out here. I just don't want to lose anything, but yeah, I have to do that too. I gotta switch my reading glasses yes, to my. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Now, yeah, no wonder I can't see it. It was all dark. Okay. So, what's your name? Stephanie. And my last name is Bullis. B U L L I S. Okay. And my phone number is eight zero five three four zero eight zero one six. So send me the information you have okay. of the Bible study okay. or whatever. Oh, I just wrote it wrong. Eight, eight zero, zero one six. I put seven eight zero one six. One six. And actually, is a woman's of, Bible study or yeah, is it, okay. yeah. We meet on Fridays, and actually, one of the um, the co-leaders of our group, we just facilitate. We use some of Beth Moore's study stuff, and okay. um, so we use the workbooks and stuff. But anyway, um, Tanya, she was a she she was a survivor of abortion. Oh, okay. So, and um, we have a few of those on our yeah, people that we deal with. Yeah, she's a survivor, and um, she's an awesome testimony. But she does a whole lot to through real options, and they're really making a big. They're making a difference, but it's one by one, and yeah, one by I, one. But then they have these big banquets where they bring thousands of people to their banquets, and all of the proceeds go towards that. Yeah, we're just hoping that it's not the money towards it. It's people that are actually listening to God and obeying well, Him and doing what that, He calls us. But, but there's there's two different kinds of way to serve. There's there's people who can serve with money, and there's people who can serve with actions. And so if you can bring those two together, you know. Well, I think saying? everybody can do it without money. I think God calls us to serve. And well, some if, a lot of stuff just takes money to do it. I mean, to actually. Unfortunately, in yeah, this society, it, that's true. To save those unborn children or to help support that mom that had a child and she couldn't and correct I mean when we know. adopted six kids that yeah. takes money that yeah, takes additional takes money some. however we had people alongside us yes. to help yeah, you have to, um, but, um, but yes just, please invite me because I would love yeah, to sit and yeah. chit chat and yeah. just express where God has our heart and exactly where you guys and, have your heart and, and see and then, uh, you, know, you know and I'm just not real sure what you're doing is making that big of an impact I think if anything, We've seen a big impact. Have that you? We have. Now, Christians are a little bit harder. So at the schools, it definitely does. Because yeah, kids are like, schools, whoa, what's going see, on? At this level, I mean, I just think that we... Are you uh, We are not protesting. See, everybody but can I, protest. can I explain to you what we're doing? We're shining the light on the Holocaust that's happening today. And Christians today, most of them aren't standing up to do anything to stop it. This church so when you say you're strong pro-life, but what does that mean? What does pro-life mean? Does that mean vote for it? Does that mean? I, 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 what you're doing is fine. Yeah, I think it's good. Why are you spending time in this church when you can go to a church that probably needs it? So we're not standing at just this church, right? We stand at every church that has Christians that know the word. They know this is wrong and aren't doing anything about it. We're not saying this church specifically doesn't do anything about it. What we're saying is most Christians that are driving in here aren't doing a thing. But that's everywhere. I'm saying that when we go to every church, everywhere. we do. Okay. We don't just stand at this church, we go to every church. Um, we just stay at a church for a while until there's a bigger impact and then we move on. That's it, we've been at m multiple churches in Frisco and Little Elm. And we'll keep moving, we've been in Richardson. Like there's certain areas, God calls us to s different areas and that's where we go. Yeah. So really it's not this specific church, it is every Christian church that stands up that says they're pro-life, but what does that mean? Does that mean, like, I'm just going to vote? I'm just going to give money? So are I'm you going... trying to get them to come to a meeting? No, I don't want, I want them to do what God calls them to do. And what is that? God calls us to, for the wicked, or the, um, ah, the orphans and the widows, right? 
And the biggest orphans of this day are those in their mother's womb. They're the ones in foster care that yeah, aren't getting adopted. Yeah, those are, and yeah. if all the Christians did that, it would be abolished and all those kids would be in homes. That's what we're calling out. I mean, I can understand how people say I disagree with the images, but for 40 years people tried it without images and it didn't work. So I know this is a life different for life. Um, when they go to talk to the high school kids, they they've had that. Okay, do we show the images? Do we not show the image? And they prayed a, a lot about it. Mm -hmm. And um, they, I think they maybe have done it both ways. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think they show the images now. Mm -hmm. And they talk to you know maybe in a one-on-one -on -one situation, but as a mass sort of thing. Because actually, what this looks like is it just doesn't look right. It really does. I mean, I'm a Christian. I'm living And it doesn't look right. And it doesn't look right. And I would hate you're doing to show this. I don't like church. showing this. I don't like looking at this. These signs are in my garage. I don't like looking at it. it we, I weep day after day because yeah. this is happening. Yeah. But we're I supposed to you. shine the light on the evil that's happening in this day. If we don't, if we hide it and just talk about it, it's not real. It's not. This is, if we look at these babies being ripped apart, it's real. It's, it's, it's sad. Well, talk to, talk to. Okay, I got those two names. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Kelly Shackelford, and they have a number, and they, they are actually um, located in Plano. I okay. mean, their Not offices. Far. Yeah, it's all right here. <laughs> it's, it's right. I mean, it's easy to get to. And go in and talk with those people because the, they will give you. A, you okay, know, I appreciate it. And I appreciate you coming I'll, to talk with us. And then I'll um, send me the, me the stuff about the study. It. Yeah, do you want my? I'll just text you. Just text you me, yeah, and I'll, I'll have it. You. Just remind me who okay, you are. Stephanie. Okay. <laughs> what was your name? I'm Christy. Christy, okay, Christy nice to meet Mary. you, Christy. Okay, all right. Thanks. Take care. All right.